So I started from Russia. That was the, the idea, this idea of authority and power. Um, how am I going to address that? You know, I am a photographer. I need to address that visually. And that's when I started uh, photographing the series, portrait series called Zex. And uh, Zek is a slang term for uh, prisoner. And uh, they've got this tattoo language on their bodies. Everybody's got, you know, what kind of crime you do, what's your sexual preference, which, how do you play cards, you know, what's your strategy, um, everything. What kind of fighter are you? Are you a loser? Are you strong? Are you weak? What are you? Everything is sort of tattooed on the body. And that to me was very interesting. It kind of started adding a layer to me understanding this idea of not necessarily about, I don't want to say criminality because it sounds wrong, but this idea of Russia not existing in our sphere of civilization and not existing in, say, an Asian sphere of civilization, but kind of caught in this netherworld I really liked. And I remember being there, you know, you hear about, they have a type of music like chanson after the French, but it's kind of like American country western, but instead it's, it's always Zex singing about prison and their crimes and uh, that whole idea of criminality. It was fascinating and on one of my first trips I heard that the Marshutka drivers, which are like the minibus drivers, in Kiev were going to go on strike because the mayor had said that they were no longer allowed to listen to chanson music in their Marshutkas. You only could listen to normal music. And that you, you know, to identify with the type of music, I guess is an age old kind of thing, but to me, okay, I could see the punk rockers or the emo kids because it's kind of a stylistic thing. But to me, this was like about a lifestyle. Even though they weren't necessarily a, a criminal, this idea that criminals held an honored position in society was really fascinating for me. So I kind of, I started photographing these guys. 